Hey friends and neighbors, welcome back. What's going on today? Hope you guys are having a good weekend. Uh, I'm having one, for sure, for sure. Uh, I ain't got a chance to go out chasing the pigs lately, but uh, that'll come with the coming week. Weather's been kind of wet for central Oklahoma for November, and we really needed the rain, so we've been getting blessings. We went from the mid 70s to 31 degrees for a low and spent less than 24 hours over the last couple of days so it's been a wild little ride we've got a beautiful sunshine day out there right now but about 25 mile an hour winds so um i took the time this morning to go out and shop around just go out and kick tires at a couple of my different favorite shopping and looking spots um, and as happens from time to time, I have a nice little pawn shop find. Now, I do a lot of business at Mustang Pawn and Gun, and they sell as many new guns, if not more, than they do used guns. Uh, but they have one hell of a selection, and they've got such a large client base that from time to time, something comes through that shop that you won't call it an absolute rarity, but you won't see many of them. And if you do, they're not in all that great shape. But today, I found a little treasure. <laughs> so, without further ado, let's get into it. Now, some of you may be sitting here looking at this little wheel gun thinking, Oh, a Ruger Single Six in Chrome or something. No, not a Ruger. It ain't a high standard and ain't an FIE or any of that other shit either. This is a C-O-L-T Colt, baby. Branded and marked. And it is a 22 long rifle Colt Frontier Scout made in 1961. Yeah, that's what I said. It's 1961. This is a 61 year old gun. It's only one year younger than me. Oh, I told him myself. Um... Man, this thing is in excellent shape. And I mean excellent shape for as old a gun as it is with the finish it has. And I'm telling you, it is as crisp as the day it was born. They were, Colt was still doing the fine work back in the late 50s, early 60s on, on these little wheel guns. And this one is just... It's the best conditioned one I've ever seen that wasn't new in the box. And when I say crisp, C-O-L-T, baby, I mean crisp. Woo, son. So I thought to myself, you know, Brad, you ain't got a 22 caliber Colt wheel gun. Maybe you... I ought to put one in your collection. <laughs> so, you know, yeah, I uh, I pulled the trigger on it. Mm -hmm, yeah. And I didn't buy it just so I could throw it in the safe and let it be a safe clean. We're going to shoot it, take it out, put it through its paces. And I figured as an added bonus to that, I might, I'm not saying, but I might go ahead and drag out um, I've got a Ruger three screw single six in 22 long rifle that's about four years older than this one. I might just drag it out, do a head to head with him. Might be fun to do. Now, this weapon has the deep rich walnut grips, doesn't have the emblems on them. Colt turned out a couple of different style sets of grips, and these don't have the the rear and pony with the busted lance, but they are fitted to the pistol. Man, they've got a really pretty rich tone. It's got a five-digit serial number. I looked it up on the Colt website and the proof house, and it is truly a 1961-era pistol. It's got your regular four and seven-eighths, or what some people would call a five-inch barrel. Regular sights, just like your old wheel gun, single action and all the screw heads are immaculate 
everything on this gun you can tell it was taken very fine care of now i cannot guarantee what i'm about to say nor can i provide a letter to prove it but the individual responsible for this weapon making its way into the shop which was some while ago assured everyone there within earshot and said he could provide provenance for it that this weapon at one time was owned by the grandson of William F. Buffalo Bill Cody. I take that with great assault. And even if that may not be absolutely provable and true, it sure is a fun little thing to know about the gun, ain't it? <laughs> well, that'd be cool as hell. If I could just prove the provenance on that, wouldn't that be cool? Now, I don't know how old the grandson of William F. Cody would be in 1961. Man, uh, he could be in his 30s or 40s, you know. It could happen. Anyway, um, that's a fine little gun, and I'm excited to take it out and shoot it and put it through its paces now. I've gone through it stem to stern, and this thing is clean. I tell you, I'm just amazed at this. And I've been looking for one of these for years. And this is the precursor. It's just the K model. It was made before they turned out their Q models, which were actually capable of uh, interchangeable cylinders. 22 long rifle and magnum. So this is this is pre-Q. This is just straight K. It's not a 62. It's just a straight Frontier Scout K model. And I can't wait to go out and shoot it. And we'll get a couple of close-up pictures of it. Put them in here and let you drool over a little bit. And uh, I can't help it. We got to do this one more time. Okay. I just love doing this. C-O-L-T, baby. That is crisp. All right. Without further ado, let's get some close-ups on it. And then we'll get our rear ends out to the range and uh, see how she does. What do you say? Stand by. Howdy folks, looks like we made it to the range out here in the woods and it is a gorgeous, gorgeous day out here in central Oklahoma in November. <laughs> you can rest your shirt, it probably won't last long. Um, got a little target set up and we're going to do a little accuracy testing with that Colt Frontier Scout 22 long rifle. And I went ahead and brought along the old Ruger single six because you know, it just might be worth doing a little test and test. Now that Ruger's got a barrel that's an inch longer than this Colt. So that may make a difference. It may not. I don't know. On pistols at 35 feet, which is what I'm shooting at, it may not. Anyway, I'm going to shoot this left-hand target 
with the Colt Frontier Scout, going to shoot that right hand target with the Ruger single six. 61 year old gun, 64 year old gun. <laughs> Let's see how the old wheel guns do it. What do you say? Stand by. All right, let's throw six rounds into that left target. What do you say? Now you have to remember, this weapon has fixed sights. It's just a groove in the rear of the frame. Nothing adjustable. All right, now let's go ahead and throw six out of the Ruger into that right hand target. Let's see what we did. All right, well, as we can see, Colt didn't do a bad little job. I know that is me. Probably would have been down here in this, and you could cover that with a silver dollar. Not bad at all. And you can see that the group is maintaining about inch and an eighth to the left. And like I said, with just old six gun sights that's still not bad i would just have to remember where this particular ammunition fired now i have some other ammunition this was just winchester bulk ammo we're going to shoot six more using cci mini mag the rigger fired a pretty damn nice group it maintains a little bit left not quite as far and you can cover that group with a quarter so the Ruger has a different rear sight. It's actually driftable. You can adjust it for left and right. With this ammunition, it appears to be shooting just about seven eighths of an inch right, or to the left, I'm sorry. So I could drift that for this ammo if I wanted to, but it's sighted in for CCI mini mags. So we'll fire six rounds of that, see what kind of response we get. Stand by. All right, let's go ahead and put six more in that left-hand target out of the Colt Frontier Scout. See how well we do with this ammo. And now let's drop six into that right hand target using the old Ruger single six with the adjustable rear sight. Now let's see what we got. Stand by. All right, let's check it out. One thing I noticed, firing the Rugers, my group did tighten up, but I more or less maintained 
the slight left pull it didn't increase it by much maybe this top shot other than that you can still cover it with a silver dollar and it's much tighter so that says something about the accuracy of the ammunition we see basically the same effect here but to a different degree we put three more rounds in the main group and they are tight we also put three rounds over here I guess that, that could have been me I won't say it wasn't but this pistol is real shiny <laughs> and when you've got the sun behind you and you're looking down them sights it's bright baby it's bright but still it maintained its group so there's no slouch about that I just have to remember where that shoots other than that I'm pretty dang happy with it why wouldn't I be but I do know yeah let's go ahead and use the CCI mini mags when we're hunting well alrighty folks I hope you enjoyed the little test and a little bit of shooting on the little Colt Frontier Scout and uh, I have fun with it and we learned a little something whether I'm shooting fixed western sights or one that I thought I had sighted in where I wanted <laughs> sometimes they all go to the same spot <laughs> anyway I had fun doing it and I'm glad you came out with me I hope you enjoyed it I did I know that and uh, remember I'm just a little redneck with itty bitty paycheck I don't monetize right now but uh, if I can get my subscriber count up a little more I might get the opportunity to do it and hey you know it's just a few years this old man's going to be looking for a little bit of retirement income if you know what I mean so hit that subscribe button hit that like button help the algorithm out and See if we can't get me to a point where I might be able to make a buck or two a month off of this stuff. What do you say? Well, I'm glad you guys came out. I'm glad I got to see you again. I'm glad you got to see me. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you had fun. And uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and teach the bad guys a lesson or two. What do you say? I guess left-handed, I kind of miss once in a while. Going right over the top of it. Oh, well. You folks have fun. Thanks for coming and seeing me. I hope you had as much fun as I did doing this. And uh, stand by, because, uh, you know, who knows? A week or two from now, I might be doing something a little funner. Thanks for stopping by to watch the Colt Frontier Scout 22 in bright ass nickel well i couldn't see shit with those sights y'all have a good day come back and see me i love you bye